and welcome back. There's a new play. It's taking place right now at the Babs Asper Theater National Arts Center. It's called The uh, King of the Yees. With us right now, we have Lauren. She plays Lauren in The King of the Yees. Andrea Yu is with us. Hello, Andrea. Hello. Good to see you. And we also have uh, Rogi Yu as well. You uh, play many different characters. Yep. Hi. This very cool uh, production. Um, Andrea, can you tell us what King of the Yees is all about? Sure. Um, well, it kind of starts out as you think it's going to be this very reverent, important play about San Francisco Chinatowns. And then um, the character of Larry Yee comes in and basically explodes all of your expectations and it actually becomes a sort of mystical, magical quest okay. for Lauren to find her father by going through sort of different um, sort of gathering different objects and things so that she can eventually find her father. Okay, interesting. That's a nice setup because I believe we have a clip. Great. Let's have a look. No, I don't dance. Right, there you go. Uh, Rogi, can you tell us what the heck was happening there? Because that, that looked like a fun scene. It's, um, it's an amazing scene. So much of the play is like that. Yeah. You know, just things just happening, and then you're like, what? Well, what, what, what's happening <laughs> here? This is part of Lauren's journey to, I guess, the, um, the ancestors. Uh, there's like these kind of trials that she has to go through, and mm -hmm. that's just one of them. Uh, the next one after that is actually one of the characters that I play as the face changer. I, I come out right mm -hmm. after that and then do mm -hmm. this okay. kind of creepy thing. That wasn't you dancing, was it? No, that was Milton Lim. Okay. Uh, yeah. How many people are in this production? Uh, so there's Andrea and I. There's mm -hmm. Milton Lim, who you saw doing that. There's Donna Suarez, who plays actor two. Okay. And um, then there's Giovanni C, who plays Larry. Okay. Larry Yee. Okay. So, so how many characters do you play then, Rogi? Uh, I play four, four characters. characters. Is yeah. it difficult to keep different characters, like it all straight in your head when you're doing that many characters? You know, at the beginning, in, in rehearsal, it was a little bit um, difficult because you want to make them all different, right? Mm -hmm. um, and a couple of my characters are actual people. Okay. So they actually exist still yeah. in, in the world, so. Okay. Um, Interesting. We're seeing some stills yeah. as well from, uh, oh, from yeah. the play. Yeah. Uh, so, Andrew, you do play Lauren, and, and is, it, is it easier to play just the one character then compared <laughs> to a rogue having to keep that straight? Uh, it, it is a lot easier. Like, a lot of times backstage, I can see them in the corner of my eye, like, going from a lion dance and then to, like, this is another character and sort of changing and sort of having to keep track of all these characters. Mm -hmm. I have one costume and sort of one character, so in that sense, it, it is quite a bit easier. Okay, yeah. but you come across many different characters in this. In this. So, so, so who mm -hmm. are some of the other characters? that you come across because we saw the lion dancer yes uh, who else uh, appears um well I, I you know i come across a number of rogi's characters so yeah. there's the face changer and that's quite a stunning piece when what that happens what is the happens. face changer all about it um, be best to speak on that yeah actually you know rogi's done more research on it you okay know, could you speak i'm just curious then we'll changer? get back to the characters because you've said mm -hmm. face changer twice so what exactly is a face changer so traditionally the face changer is this art of um with this the the person's face literally changes. It's like a series of masks, I mm. guess you would say. But you don't see how the masks like disappear. Yeah. And there's a lot of, uh, you know, kind of deception, movement, the whole costume, and then the face. Okay. Um, 
this going? I guess you have to see it to believe or to understand. Yeah, right. I guess so. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. so sorry, Andrea, back to the other characters mm -hmm. that you uh, encounter. Wow, there's so many. Like, um, there are real life ones. There's one called Sh uh, Shrimp Boy, and he's sort of a very famous um, gangster in San Francisco, San Francisco's Chinatown. Yeah. You also come across a whiskey seller. Mm -hmm. And the Lum Elders, which is, I have to say, one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. um, and they're the oracle that uh, tells Lauren about her quest and what she has to find. Okay. And they're a really fun play on um, Chinese elders that you might see in, in Chinatown. Okay. And um, yeah, there's so many, even news reporters, so a lot of different characters. Okay. So this is really a, a play within a play. Yes. Yeah. So how how does that work then? Um, well, it sort of starts in the beginning, like you. That's the first sort of layer where actually another character that Rogi plays is Larry Yi, mm -hmm. and there's another actress, uh, Donna, who plays Lauren Yi, and then um, Giovanni, as the quote unquote real Larry Yi, mm -hmm. comes it comes in and kind of explodes their rehearsal, and then I come on stage as Lauren. And um, and then there's I guess there's the other layer too of the real life Lauren Yi who wrote all of this as well and mm -hmm. based you know there's a real Larry Yi who's out there in San Francisco and okay. her as well so there's like three layers. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, so it, it takes place in San Francisco's Chinatown, but uh, Rogi, pretty much anybody can relate to this play for, for different reasons. Yeah, it does. You know, I mean, it can even be like a metaphor for your house. Mm -hmm. You know, like dynamics between. Um, father and daughter or children or different generations, okay. um, misunderstandings, you know, yeah. like what is tradition, what's not. It sounds like fun and it looks colorful and just like like very playful fun for the whole family? Mm, yeah. For the most part? Yeah, comedy for the most so? part, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a comedy. Yeah, yeah. It is it's a comedy. Like it's really yeah. fun, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Well, Andrea and uh, Rogi, thank you very much for being here today. King of the E's playing at the National Arts Centre until November 11th. Thank you for being here. Happy Halloween. Have a good one.